So hi dear Taurus, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general angel messages reading for all the Taurus Sun Moon Venus rising from 18 till the 24th of December. I'm going to pull three cards from the angel cards for guidance, one card for your general life, love life energy and one answer from angel answers oracle deck. Okay, okay. And if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description. It's in English. It's from basics to intermediate. If you want to start your self-love journey but don't know from where to start, you can definitely purchase my ebook and workbook for the same. It's super loaded with a lot of information and it's super cheap, okay? If you want to learn the art of manifestation from me, you can join my four live, uh, four hours workshop. I'm going to announce the dates and everything soon. So let's start. The first message for Taurus people for this week. Let me pull all the three cards. First of all, you have to work on your crown chakra and your heart chakra. It's very, very important for you to like heal your crown chakra this week. Your intuition might be slightly off. The first message that we are getting is the moon. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. Whatever you are facing right now, whatever challenges and obstacles you are facing right now at this present moment, Taurus, please don't avoid them. Please don't try to avoid them or ignore them or feel like, okay, I will so like... Uh, 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 see it sooner or this or that no face your fears face to face and you will be able to uh, understand that, that that was nothing the obstacles will be resolved the challenges will be resolved it's like half the work done kind of thing right and listen to your intuition for like guidance and how to listen to your intuition stay with yourself for some time meditate uh, stay in silence and understand what your gut is telling you understand what your intuition is trying to tell you intuition is something that makes you feel uncomfortable yeah Intuition is something that makes you feel uncomfortable. So might be you are trying to uh, get an answer of yes, but inside of you it's always coming no, no, no. So then listen to your no instead of uh, faking it as a yes. The second card that we have is the justice. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. If you are going to give up on something that you really, really feel is uh, not uh, like should not be like that, then I think you are not. Uh, you will not be able to do the justice with yourself. So if you want justice in a particular situation you have to fight for it then only you will be able to get the rulings in your favor or the answer in your favor please do not give up on what you feel is right okay now the third message we have is the king of Raphael yes it's safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once follow your creative passions so I got al almost similar message for uh, Aries as well so it might be you're having Aries also in your chart or you're related to Aries in some way shape or form I really don't have any idea so it is safe for you to trust your own intuition, trust the process, trust the universe. Ability to accomplish many things at once is going to be there for you guys. Follow your creative passion. If by any chance you are a creative person and you love doing things in a certain way and you are not able to do that in some way, shape or form, start connecting with your creative side again and you will see good results. Very, very good results and a, and a calmness, a serenity kind of energy within yourself, right? Now let's see for your love life what we have in general. We have the stab in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. You might get uh, like a little bit heartbroken this week or you might get to know something about someone that might hurt you for some time. But trust me, this is something, this, uh, this is the God's protection against something that, that, that is not meant for you or that is not good for you or something like that. Take it as God's protection from something that's not good for you, okay? Instead of taking it as, oh my God, I'm a victim. Oh my God, I keep on uh, attracting this kind of energies, this, that, this, that. So something is not working out because it should not. So whatever is happening, is, it should happen exactly the way uh, it's happening. Then only you will be able to move forward. Accept it for what it is. Okay, honey. So now answer to one of your questions. Please close your eyes. Take a deep breath and uh, ask your question three times very, very clearly in your mind space. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Your time starts now. Yeah, so the answer to your question is unlikely, compromise, yes, okay. So if you are not ready to find a middle ground in a particular situation, there are very low results that it will happen or there are very low chances that the situation will improve or go in your favor. If you are ready to compromise, if you are ready to find a middle ground in the situation, that there, then there are chances that the situation is going to turn into your favor or the situation is going to convert from a no to a yes. But again, you have to find a middle ground. You have to compromise in a certain situation, in a certain direction. Then only it is going to happen for you. Otherwise, I don't see that happening. 
so this is the answer to your question so thank you so much for tuning in taurus i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste